We wanted a closer look at the Google Pixel 2 XL's active edge sensors, so we called our friend Holger from Holger Tech to tear one apart. That's not the only interesting thing he found. Keep on watching to see what's inside. Okay, the right. Pixel 2 XL, we're going to remove the screen. Uh, fairly straightforward. We used a little heat. Uh, don't know that that's necessary on this screen, though it is a pretty straightforward remove. What we'll do is we'll take a suction cup and we'll use that to get a little bit of a purchase point. You can use an easy opening pry tool to get into the corner here and work your way across the adhesive. I personally, I like to use guitar picks. They work really well. Slowly work your way around the frame. Don't go in too deep, but you can feel the adhesive being cut. You will run into more resistance along the top and the bottom where we have more of the adhesive in around this area keep cutting the adhesive as we come across here and then we can lift the screen up <clears throat> this being the top of the phone we're going to lift to the left and that gives us our two cables here which we'll remove we're going to take these clips off move those aside and we'll use our plastic spudger or pry tool to get underneath there carefully pop that clip and then we'll come up underneath this one a little bit of tape on the top and that one's in there a little better if you're replacing the display assembly, there's nothing else on here, so nothing will need to be transferred. Um, just reconnect, uh, put your clips back in, make sure you've got fresh adhesive, the screen should come with that. If not, some good strong double-sided tape, and that's all it takes to remove the screen. Okay, next we're, next we're going to remove the mid-frame here. Uh, we have a number of screws circling the mid-frame, we'll remove all of them. Again, when removing screws, make sure that you place them in a manner where you can put them back exactly in the holes that they came out of. I like to work around the phone. These so far look to all be the same size. I'm verifying that I've got all the screws, it looks like I do. I'm now going to use a metal pry tool. Be careful not to dig too deep here. I don't want to damage the logic board underneath. Feels like there might even be a couple clips in there. Missed one. Get that out of there. And that makes it easier. So we have a little bit of a heat sink, um, it looks like a heat pipe on the mid-frame, uh, right above the processor. And that's it, that's all it takes to get that mid-frame out of there. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is pull the battery. First opportunity we have to pull the uh, battery connector, so we'll do that. And this battery has a lot more adhesive and we did remove it prior. Um, it, it is a challenge, I can't stress enough. Um, how careful you want to be, not unless you're really skilled at what you do, don't put anything metal underneath there. Use plastic and work it very slowly. A little bit of heat will aid in the removal of the battery, but just keep working it from the one side using a plastic spudger and it'll pull it right out. Like I said, be very careful. There's a fair amount of adhesive on here. And when you're removing batteries, have an exit strategy. Always make sure that you know you're in a safe place to do it. And should you puncture the battery, these are very volatile. Um, it could catch on fire, could explode. If you're uncomfortable with it, leave it to a professional, let them do it, because they usually have the proper equipment in place should something like that happen. But that is the battery removal, um, along with all the disclaimers. All right, next we're gonna remove the logic board, which extends, unlike the standard Pixel, the XL, the logic board extends down into the dock port. So we're gonna start on the bottom, and we're gonna start disconnecting these pop connectors to make sure that we're going to be free. If you don't use metal on this, you can knock a component off the board and you certainly don't want to do that. And we're going to leave the camera connected, bring that up. We have one antenna cable. We'll gently pry that off and let me see if I've got everything off of there. Don't forget to remove the SIM tray. And the logic board comes out very easily. And we'll go ahead and just continue the disassembly. That's the front facing camera. No image stabilization on that one. Rear facing camera and it does have some copper tape on it so we'll carefully remove that. This does tear quite easily and we'll be able to put that back when it's done. And there is the front facing camera with optical image stabilization. Also nice easy to remove. Uh, both cameras can be removed without physically removing the logic board which is nice. And anything else on here that we need to worry about removing? It does not look like it. There's your other antenna cable hidden under the board. That's about it for the logic port. Really straightforward. All the components on here are very serviceable, easy to pull off. If you need a camera replacement, everything can be done from the back of the board, so that's great. Okay, next we're going to pull the dock port as well as the loudspeaker. So we're going to start, we're going to get a little point underneath here. 
the loudspeaker is held in place by a couple clips and we should be able to just kind of work that up pull it out and remove it no cables contacts are made those points right there and then the dock port which is held in place with adhesive runs across here and then is connected so we have an antenna cable we need to remove and we'll work underneath slowly and carefully under here this little clip is pushed in that holds the microphone in we'll get that out of the way keep working our way up until we free all that adhesive lift out the dock it's like we're connected on the bottom here yet and with a fair amount more of adhesive underneath here should be able to just pull this away and remove it and that's the dock port USB-C very modular microphones on there aside from biting a little bit of adhesive fairly easy replacement and that's all for the dock port all right next we're going to go ahead and remove the fingerprint scanner vibrate motor squeeze sensors and whatever else we can from the chassis. So let's see what we have here. We're gonna start with the fingerprint sensor. Yeah, it's got a fair amount of adhesive to it and it looks like a little shield on the back. Be careful not to tear this cable. We wanna come in underneath it like the other ones. You don't know at this point if you can replace the fingerprint sensor and have it still work. And that's the home button. It looks like a lot of adhesive and sealant around the edge. We'll move that off to the side. We'll work our way down to the vibrate motor. We'll get in underneath it and that's usually just held in place with a little bit of adhesive and we also have connection on the bottom which we'll want to make sure we release from the adhesive and that's our vibrate motor. All right moving on to the side here it looks like we've got a plastic shield that we want to remove. This little contact pad is wrapped around it so we'll get underneath there move that out of the way and off to the side and that should give us a free there we go the contact pad is part of it and that's your power um, and volume button assembly on this. Much easier to remove than on the Pixel 2. We have the one of the service antennas that run down the side. So right now we're gonna get the little squeeze sensors. Cable's coming off nice and easy. And these are tucked very tightly into this. And when you remove this, you wanna be very, very careful. And don't go too fast, because you will damage those. This activates the Hey Google feature of the phone. And there are two of these, one on each side. Yeah, it looks like a lot more cabling here that looks like it's glued down quite a bit more. And there's a little plate underneath it, which makes it easier. Less chance of damaging the cable. Yeah, a little metal plate it's glued to. And we'll pull that second squeeze sensor out of there. If you're replacing this part, obviously you can be a little more aggressive with it. We're not. Squeeze sensor number two, along with the service antenna. All right, we're going to go ahead and remove the back glass. Uh, we did this already once just to make sure that we were able to pull it off without destroying it. Uh, the Google Pixel 2, if you watch that video, um, you'll see that we had no luck aiming out that off the plastic back. But on the Pixel 2 XL, we have a number of components behind there that we didn't have in the, the Pixel 2, so we were motivated. Um, did heat it up, you are going to want to do that. Get in there, get a purchase point with a metal spudger and then work in a guitar pick or a similar pry tool, something flat. There is a lot of adhesive in here. It will not be as easy for you as you see me doing here because as I said, we've already removed this once. Looks like the camera glass, the LED diffuser are back in here. LED is part of the board. Set that off to the side. We have the NFC. We have uh, another little clip back here. Looks like holding a couple other components in. One of which I expect to see the ear speaker, and I do. Um, look to be a couple microphones here. We'll gently peel those away. And that's what we saw coming through. So we should be able to remove that cable on the other side now. So on this cable assembly, we have what would appear to be two microphones and the proximity sensor coming through the, the back frame and is glued underneath the glass here. So next thing we'll do is we'll pop that ear speaker out for a good place to get underneath it here. There we go. And gently working that up and pulling that out and there's your ear speaker and it looks like that's as far as what we're going to get through in serviceable parts and that's about a bare chassis of fiber saw one so it looks like that'll be about it for this one all right so the tools that we used today were pretty straightforward um, the we started off with the suction cup and a couple of the guitar picks which we used a couple other places in this repair uh, SIM card removal tool. A small paper clip will work as well. This just makes it a little bit easier. Uh, number, number double zero, Phillips screwdriver, and an assortment of pry tools, as well as a pair of tweezers and um, the spiders. That was about it.